All right, let's pop it out. I want to be a little bit careful with this because, oh my gosh. This is like gold gold. Sam, we're going to drop this bar. Oh, it hurts my soul. We are unboxing a highly hyped barbell. At least online, one of the most aesthetically pleasing barbells I've seen, in my opinion. It's used made Maybe. It's made using gold titanium. You may not know this, but the Iron Man suit featured in the movies is made of gold titanium. It's supposedly an alloy that is three times harder than titanium itself. And it also looks good. So we're gonna unbox it. I've been waiting to unbox it to see it for myself. We will pull it out of its tube and we will review it right here live on camera. Let's do it. Showed up in a typical brown tube. You guys know my feelings on these tubes. To prevent myself from being extremely annoyed on camera and wasting too much of your time, I already popped the top. And this top was actually a little bit unique in that it was a plastic top that used plastic rivets instead of actual screws. These bad boys right here, which was actually a better experience than screws, but I don't know how it ends up in the long run in shipping. One thing I want you to see though, because I've been able to see it, is this end cap. This, my friends, is possibly one of the best looking end caps I've seen. It's not just like an end cap that has some like screen printed sticker on it or something like that. This is an end cap that is essentially a coin. In fact, I wanna pop it off and put it in my pocket and be like my lucky charm. This thing is sick. This is the Midas Revenge Bar from Fringe Sport. And I just gotta say, like, just, you just gotta see it. Just. Smells good, looks good, plays good. I mean, it's just like, oh, so nice. So not a functional feature, has nothing to do with how much you'll lift on this, has nothing to do how you'll enjoy lifting on it, but when you put that plate on, you see that staring back at you, you like it. All right, let's pop it out. I wanna be a little bit careful with this because, oh my gosh. This is like gold, gold. This is, Oh, it's even sweaty because it's so sexy. Look how gold that is. I love gold. Can you tell on camera, Nathan, does that look gold? Yeah. Okay, as you can see, the biggest benefit to this bar is the aesthetics. This is not an extremely expensive bar. This isn't like an egregious like price where it's just like, oh my gosh, it's over the top. This in fact, for the price is pretty similar to other competitive bars that are out there that don't feature the aesthetic goodness of this. At $329, including shipping to your door from Fringe Sport, um, it is a 190K tensile strength, which is what we typically see. It's similar to the Rogue 2.0 bar, the Ohio bar, and most general purpose training bars. As you can see, it has no center on neural, has dual neural marks, and a 28 and a half millimeter shaft. 28 and a half millimeter is like a good general purpose shaft that you can use for everything from powerlifting movements to Olympic weightlifting. It's just a nice in between because typically Olympic weightlifting bars are 28 millimeters and power bars are typically 29 millimeters. So it's right in between with the dual neuromarks. Now on the rotation system, you can tell they're using bronze bushings. The bronze bushings are great for spinning. I, I wanna clarify it. They have this on the website, Fringe Sport, in multiple places. One place, it says, one place says it's bearing, one place says it's bushing. This is definitely bushing. Unless they have bearings somewhere hidden in here, this is definitely a bushing bar. So if you read that, just know I can confirm this is a bushing bar. These are bronze bushings, self-oiling bronze bushings. These are probably the most reliable bushings that are out there. They make composite bushings that are popular in bars, but bronze is definitely my go-to for most people. So nice bar, it spins like, it's not spinning like great, but it's a nice smooth controlled spin that you're gonna like for some Olympic lifting, um, but mainly for the slower lifts. So nice, it's on both sides, obviously. And then this neural is a, it's a somewhat medium neural. This is more aggressive than a Rogue Ohio bar, which is one of the most popular general purpose bars that this would compete with. Uh, it's nothing astounding. It's definitely pretty consistent. These neural marks are different widths. That's kind of annoying to just OCD side of me, but other than that, these are, it's a pretty decent neural. It's gonna be good for general purpose training. The other thing outside of this, and I'm gonna talk about this more in a moment, is this shaft is actually Cerakoted. And 
It's said to be Cerakote, but I want to make it clear. Cerakote, capital C, is a brand. It's like Kleenex. So just because a bar is using like a ceramic coating doesn't mean it's Cerakoted. They're saying this is Cerakote, but unless the finish is just applied unevenly or something, I would guess this may be a, a different brand or something like this. The Cerakote on here is okay. It's already scratched up in a couple spots. It's rough in some spots. The shaft itself with the Cerakote, it's okay. It doesn't compare to these. This is the reason you buy the barbell. This gold sleeve is freaking gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it. Like there's really no way else to describe it. It's coated in gold titanium. Now, this is the first time personally I've ever seen gold titanium used in a piece of fitness equipment, specifically a barbell. I would not be surprised since it's been used on this that it will now be used on other stuff. In fact, I saw somebody post in the home gym community that Bells of Steel is coming out with like a full line of bars that features gold titanium sleeves, including like a curl bar, a multi-grip bar, a safety squat bar, and a barbell. So like people love the look of this because it's just like dripping goodness. This is the reason you'd buy this bar. One, it's a good value. French Sport makes decent bars. In fact, they're typically our budget friendly version or a runner up on our best Olympic barbells roundups uh, because they're priced good. They have lifetime warranties and French Sport services that lifetime warranty. It's like a, actually a good company that's gonna be around for a while. This bar has all those with the addition of the aesthetics. If you like the aesthetics on this, you will not see another bar like this out yet. So this bar is very unique. When people come into your gym and your garage or whatever, like they'll definitely go to this bar because it's just like, it's just so freaking sick. In addition to that, they got other features right, like the end cap, another nice detail. And then overall, the knurling and everything, it's a good serviceable bar, high-end bar, $329. Would I recommend it? For most people, if you're not into the aesthetics, no, go with something else. I am curious, and we'll show this probably on Instagram, so if you'd like to see that, follow us. And we may do a follow-up review on this as well. I would like to see if the end caps scratch or if the sleeves scratch very much. I'm gonna put a plate on here just to kind of test it for myself and we can kind of see. I'm gonna grind it a little bit just to like really. Two hours later. That's how we wear test. It looks the exact same as it did before. So this is an iron plate. Obviously this is a bumper plate with a little bit nicer machined hole than what you'd see on cast iron plates. But I mean, you should start to see some marking if it was going to. Dude, this may be actual, gold titanium just sounds sick, you know? <sighs> Nothing. That's impressive. That's nice. I'm very surprised about that. I, I thought for sure that was gonna wear off, be like, I don't see, there's not even any scratches. That's nice. If that lasts that long, one, way better than Cerakote because it's not gonna mar and scar. Two, it just looks sexy. Sam, we're gonna drop this bar on the concrete. Like we review things for a living. It's not just to keep them pretty. I wanna show you that maybe this will prevent being scratched. I'm kind of nervous because I really like the look of this bar, uh, but we're gonna drop it. <laughs> Nothing really to do other than to see what happens. Three, two, one. I don't like, I don't like that. That's not something I enjoy doing. I literally do not know what hit. Oh gosh. <laughs> My ancestors, man, would hate me for this. They're just gonna be like, Coop's dropping gold bars. All right, should I go from here or overhead? Let's just do one more. Nathan, I don't wanna, okay, we'll do one overhead, okay? If this isn't, I, like, this will tell us what we need to know. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. This is where it hit, right here. That is the damage from dropping an overhead on a concrete floor with no plates on. That's incredible. That, wow, I'm impressed. This is incredibly hard. 
I would love to compare this to like the Aleco or the Rogue that both use that really hard material that impregnates with the actual steel. I would be curious if it's harder than this. But man, that's freaking sick. All right, now we know. All right, I'm a fan. I, I would recommend this, 329 with those six sleeves. It may become like this, like, it's a novelty in a way, but if you're gonna have a bar, buy one you like that's gonna last. Coating on the end sleeves, it's more than just like looks. It has function too. All right, this is the French Sport Midas Revenge Bar. If you like it, we'll put a card up in the top right where you can check it out. Make sure you subscribe. We'll tell you more about this amazing facility. You can see we have all those rowers set up. We're getting ready to do something with those. This coop garage and reviews. We'll see you next time. <gasps> Peace.